Guten Tag. Wie geht's? Guys, welcome to CatchJitsu.com, your place for everything MMA, catch wrestling, jiu-jitsu, combatives, and CCW needs. I'm Dan the Wolfman, and you've probably seen my 5-inch Velter PPQ unboxing video. It was very popular, and uh, even Walter sent me a very nice message. Well, what do we got today? If you've watched my recommended uh, CCW handguns video, you may know what I've been thinking about getting for quite a while. And here is my new Velter, and that's how you originally said it, Velter, or people say Walter without the uh, H, and most Americans say Walter. But what do we have, guys? What do we have? Let's see what this label says. PPQ SC for subcompact LE version. Let's open her. Empty firearm. There she is. Look at that beauty. And she feels great in the hand as typical of the PPQ line. Wonderful. This is with the 15 round mag with the grip sleeve. Perfect. Three and a half inch barrel. I know these are much better than my sights that came on the 5 inch LE was just the typical plastic white dot sights which are not great and I put in a front, a front Meprolite night sight of a 99C but being the 5 inch version even though people said it wouldn't uh, affect point of impact it, it has it's dead on at 7 yards but past that I have to aim low because it shoots high um, these are the fluorescent metal I believe they're metal yep looks like metal some more durable if you can guys always get the LE versions not true night sights but phosphorescent and they're big it's a big dot so a nicer sight picture and it looks a little narrower in the rear actually or maybe it's just the dot the front post is bigger I think the front post is bigger I don't know if the width of the rear is a little narrower which is a problem a lot of people have with the typical uh, while they're white dot sights I think it says the front dot and maybe the width of the actual sight is wider but anyway that is a much nicer sight picture actually so um, here we go guys this is what it looks like I'll give you a little view of both sides DE das ist gut ja though made in America and made in Germany I'm confused but hey. <laughs> Made in Germany? Or is it made in America? Or is it both? Or is it mostly made and then assembled? I'm really not sure. That's what she looks like. Now, what does she come with? The lock and the typical junk here. Here is the flush fit mag, 10 rounder, and the 15 round mag. Now guys, if you don't get an LE version, it's only going to come with those two mags and it's going to have the typical plastic sights on it. If you can, get the LE version. Here we got a uh, different grip palm swell. You do have a magazine switcher out for south paws. And you will get the mag loader, which I never use, I probably should, but I like having good grip strength for grappling. But LE version, you're going to get a 10 rounder that comes with the pinky. Now, I think you can now buy these pinky finally um, extenders separately. Um, but, you know, this is great to get all three with the gun. I'll show you what they look like with all three. Okay, now when I take that out, you realize how light this pistol is and really why this is what I wanted to get. I'm trying to reduce my load on my belt or in my pants or pocket every single day. Um, so for EDC, this sucker is light and Walder's done a few things quite a bit to get it there. Now, I don't like being a pinky dangler, usually, but I held the P99 
and I was like, okay, that feels pretty good. So I thought this would as well, and actually that feels pretty good to me, even with pinky dang dangling. So if you needed to carry it this way at work or non-permissive environment or something, you could. I do believe even front pocket carry, I've already put it in there, no problem. I should be able to carry here. And you see, I have extra large hands. I'm a big guy, 230-ish, two pounds. Um, but I got enough on there that this, this will help uh, in recoil and, and control. So I could carry this way even in the front pockets of uh, my shorts. Maybe I'll do that in a minute. I'll throw it into a DeSantis, but it's not the right one. It's for my MMP9C that's in my pocket. But um, this is a lot lighter than the MMP9C. It's even lighter than a Glock. Now we can argue about that a little bit because of what most things are posted about Glock. But let's check out the specs on Walder's site. And hopefully soon I'll get those Bravo concealment holsters, guys. They've been great to me. Hopefully they will send those out to me. Here's the specs from Walder's site. This one is for the LE version, which this is. Three and a half inch barrel, trigger pull, 5.6 pounds, only 0.4 trigger travel with a very, very short reset. Awesomely fast trigger to manipulate. Overall length, 6.6. .6. Height, that is very important for carry if you're thinking about possibly throwing it in an old pocket, sometimes like I am, only 4.4 .4 inches. Being at 10 plus one, that ain't bad. Even a lot of other stuff out there is like 4.8 inches, so or even 5. So that's really, really good. Uh, I think a Glock 26 is 4.3, and it's also light. That's the only, everything else is going to be bigger, guys, if you're thinking about backup or pocket carry. This is only 21.2 ounces. I believe a Glock 26, depending on version, is actually something like 21.8 and it depends on Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5 or not. Gen 5 is even heavier. Um, but those are listed weights, and that's what most people, if you Google it, it'll come up as that. But if you look on both, you know, either the U.S. or the Australian website, a Glock 26 for comparison, it'll come up as that and say empty magazine or empty, but or without magazine. This says mag empty, so I don't know what this means. I don't know if that's with an empty mag inserted or if it's with no mag in it at all. I'd have to get a scale to compare them. Hopefully someone will do that. The Glock, people will say, well, that's empty weight, but then it's actually like 23.4 or something like that, two ounces heavier with an empty magazine in. So this is either just slightly less than a Glock or a substantial two ounces less with the empty flat base uh, mag in. I'm not sure what mag empty means, so that would need a scale to be verified. Um, but, but either way, when I picked it up, this baby's light and much lighter than my 9C, which is like 25.8 ounces, I believe, So um, which I do front pocket carry. And um, this should make my great EDC for my regular choice now. Uh, hopefully, you know, once we get it to the range here in a little bit, I want to wipe down a little bit of the, uh, it didn't have as much access lube as uh, my 5 inch did, but I would like to wipe it down and get some lube on. I think I forgot, hopefully here at the range, they will hook me up again, guys. Great range. Um, ranges, guns, and safes in Atlanta. They have two locations. So, let's talk about how it feels. It feels great. Ergonomics are great. This definitely feels better than a lot of pistols out there. Um, you got two notches there for a rail, if you're interested in that. Pretty small pistol to be mounting the light on. But, um, let's check these, uh, the phosphorescence out. Now, hopefully if this goes under my pillow at night, next to my tack light when I wake up in the morning, hopefully I'll charge it for 30 seconds to a minute with a, a tack light, and that way it's charged for the day, and I think they do hold it for a very long time. Uh, same thing uh, before, if it does go into a pocket or it does go into a holster, should recharge it with light, and that way hopefully you got it in case you need it. 
Um, so it's not a true night sight, but you, most shootings are in some sort of ambient light in the, you know, in cities. So um, this this should be pretty good, uh, especially if you're good and I hopefully get in good habits with charging it up. Definitely before I throw it in my pocket, I want to charge it up, and I think that might be good for like six to eight hours or something like that. So. Um, yeah, what next? Let's talk about the trigger. That's what that's what they're known for. And I put this on, on head targets as well, the sticker from Bravo Concealment. This makes a great tee shot for his nose and eyeball to give you somewhere to, to throw on a target to aim at, uh, by the way, guys. Now, the click sounds a little different. Maybe that's just because it's brand new. And then my five inch, it actually feels, it doesn't really feel different, but it sounds a little different. Okay, so here's the dingus, dingus, take up, wall, boom. And let's see how short this reset is. And it's kind of spring assisted forward, so you're able to get off super fast splits, 14, 16, 18 splits with the PPQ. I can do a fast five, double taps, really quick with PPQs. Travel, take up, wall, clean, break. There's my nice sight picture. So let's see. I don't know how charged up these are because it came in the box and they were already glowing, surprisingly. I don't know how. Um, I guess when the FFL must have grabbed the paperwork, they must have charged up with just a you know minute of light. Let's see how this looks oh wow it's pretty dark in this room there's some light coming in the window here but look at that same picture So, um, definitely get the LE version if you can, guys. Even if you're getting a PPSM2 or something, I would highly recommend that. Get the extra mag uh, if you can. Get the phosphorescent metal sights. Definitely much more durable. Um, and overall, a great package. This thing feels great. Hopefully, it will shoot great. I'm sure that it will. Uh, and, uh, you know, guys, I don't know what else to say. You got... Uh, dual dual big slide releases that are easy to hit so that's nice if you're a lefty and you can turn that over if you need to uh, I like to have that in general um, there are some changes it's not exactly just a chop down PPQ so I'll talk a little bit about changes before we wrap up this video um, you know three and a half inch instead of four inch obviously but it's not exactly just chop down there are a difference in internal versus external extractors now, according to one rep, that was to speed up production, uh, but really, I think it was a bad bean counter uh, decision. Walter, if you're listening, you know, a lot of people will rely on this for their lives. Let's, let's get the other extractor in. That wasn't a great move. There is a bit of plastic piece in the back here of the slide. Let's see if I can see that. But... Um, that is probably both bean counter and maybe for weight reduction. This thing has shaved off quite a few ounces uh, from the regular. So 21.2 versus I think 20, 25.8 for my 5 inch. I think it's 25.2 for the 4 inch. Might be wrong. But that's quite a bit of weight they have shaved off. So this is really, I got this because all the reasons a PPQ is great. But carrying more and more in every day, you're like, uh, let's reduce the weight load. And that's what this thing will be great. So in my pocket, I will be able to carry this if I can find a DeSantis or something like that, or a Romero or something that'll fit. Um, I have to look it up. I'm not sure if Glock, the one that fits a Glock 26 may fit. My 9C1 doesn't quite give enough trigger coverage. Uh, I'll do that here in a second. Or I'll be carrying it this way. 
on my hip or appendix if you're really uh, you know an experienced carrier. Um, with the 15 round mag, 15 plus one. Now these mags are different. The springs are different. It's a different spring rate. It's a different release and spring rate in the slide. And I think they did that for recoil. PPQs are known for excellent accuracy because it had long lockup times, I do believe. I'm correct on that. And I think they reduced the lockup time on this to have less of that jolting that comes down on the PPQ. Um, which was for more accuracy but being lighter, a much lighter pistol, they had to do some recoil reduction. So they lightened up the slide and um, the, the um, slide cyclic rate is a bit different. I think that's a lower uh, cyclic, uh, a lower lockup time, how long it stays locked up after the gun goes bang before that slide releases. So the magazines are different. Now that's not to say that PPQ mags won't fit. They might fit, but they will fit a little sloppier. I didn't bring my, my PPQ today, but I did in my bag. I to have my Makar 20 rounder. I'm gonna throw this in carefully. Not trying to hurt the extractor. I'm not slamming it home. But I thought people might wanna see what that looks like. So now I'm tactical. So I got 20 plus one. Um, now, I would not carry uh, with that because of the rate. Some people have said they work just fine, regular PPQ mags, saying not necessarily the Canic bag. I think it actually has more slop in my other uh, pistol. But, uh, guys, yeah, you, you could maybe use them at the range, and it probably very much depends on the ammo and how hot the ammo is, okay, because of, of the different slide speed. Um, so be aware of that. P probably do not carry it with regular PPQ mags. Now, hopefully, I will find that some function, and maybe depends if you're using regular cheap target ammo versus hot stuff. Like I got here, I'm going to break it in today, hopefully. Uh, with SMB. I like to break in all my pistols with hot SMB. I like if I need backup mags that might need a, some penetration um, in the car, something like that, to be full of SMB. Hopefully 124, this happens to be 115 grain. 115 grain I think is at 1,235 feet per second. 124 grains at like 1,180. That's actually a lot hotter than everything else that's out there other than Spear Lawman. So that's really the hottest stuff for cheap you can find. I uh, highly recommend it. Hopefully that will break it in uh, nice and then, you know, then I can use, uh, I always like to break in with hotter stuff and then if I, then maybe go to uh, some something lighter. Anyway, guys, I've babbled a lot. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching the video on the PPQ SCLE version. I'm Dan the Wolfman and guys, Waller, hook me up in the future. I saw that you liked my other video. How about sending me some Walder swag, a t-shirt maybe, some 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 uh, you know early production guns to test and evaluate for my YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, hope you liked it. Thumbs up. Check out all my catch wrestling and MMA stuff and self defense stuff, guys. Look at my playlist. I'm sure you'll like what I got. Uh, thanks again to Guns Range and Safes for having me. Thanks for Bravo Concealment. Hope you're going to send out those holsters for me. And um, uh, actually, I said I would throw it in my pocket. I know this is too long. I said I would throw it in my pocket. I'm going to pull out comparison size video. Let's do that with the 9C, the uh, original 9C. This is loaded hot, so I'm not going to diddle it too much. But as you see there, it's not with a 12 round flush. This is with a 12 plus two McGar, so I actually made this a 14 plus one that I actually fit in my pocket. Oop. Production value, okay, so just a little size comparison. Both have three and a half inch barrels. This has a bigger trigger guard which if you're cold weather anywhere, that might be very helpful. And height. Putting 
Tighten that down very carefully in a safe direction. Okay. Now that is not the correct one, this 13 DeSantis. Obviously it doesn't go in deep. The, whole, the barrel doesn't go in as deep. Trigger uh, guard doesn't go in quite enough. But I wanted to show what this will look like. In my pocket, stop checking out the Wolfman's manhood. But it is much lighter and that's what's important. So just like I've been hoping, I can walk around. With that, I don't care the most laws in most states, I'm in the south, this doesn't say invisible, it says concealed, and that's fine. Much lighter, okay? War, 15 plus one on my hip every day. Thank you for watching the Walder PPQ SC. Be careful, I'm what you call a semi-professional. Shout out to Paul Harrell. And uh, guys, I will catch you on the flip side. Thank you.